hello guys welcome back i hope you're all doing very well i recently came upon the like trend of doing ins and outs for 2024 i did find out about it through a podcast so i'm sure it's been on every other social media platform for a while but i just found out about it i think that's very fun so i decided i'm going to share my ins and outs for 2024 they're really like super specific to me in my life so if you relate to any of them great but i feel like you might probably not my first in of 2024 is running everywhere running as a mode of transportation i recently got into running and i mean got into running is like a generous term i have started going on runs as part of like my workout split and like just as a form of cardio and living in a city one of the great things slash horrible things is when you have like errands to run everything's just kind of far and takes a while but if you run there then it's like you're saving like half the time. I don't know if it's half, but it's like a decent amount of time. I've done it a couple of times. Once was to the bookstore and another one was to the grocery store, which was today actually. I haven't managed to figure out a way to have an efficient return trip because obviously I have things now and so I can't really run with them. Like I'm not gonna run with like a reusable shopping bag, you know? So I'm brainstorming some sort of like lightweight backpack <laughs> that I can bring. So when I run there, I can still run back because it was snowing today and it was freezing and all I wanted to do was be home instantly, which I could do if I was running. Plus I'd be warmer if I was running. So yeah, running as a mode of transportation, I think is, is gonna be really in for me this year. The first out of 2024 is not buying things because they are cheap. I'm someone that has been thrifting their wardrobe for, I don't know, five-ish years. And even more recently, I've been trying to acquire like any new belongings secondhand. And that's an in of this year not buying new things. But but I think when it comes to shopping secondhand, it's very easy to make purchases because they're inexpensive and think it's a great deal. But like an ugly shirt that's a dollar is still an ugly shirt. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't it doesn't get any cuter cuz it's a dollar. I promise you it doesn't. Like a chair that you don't need but is $7 is still a chair that you don't really need. But I'm really trying to instead focus on like investing in pieces that I know I'm gonna wear or I know I'm gonna use a ton. I recently bought a jacket and a pair of cargo pants, both from eBay, and they were both at least, I think 30 bucks. One of them was 40, one of them was 30, which is way more than I ever wanna spend on clothes. But I'm really excited about them because they're pieces that I'm literally going to wear multiple times a week. And yard sales are even trickier. You're like, oh, this notebook for a quarter. Guess what? You don't need a notebook. So there you go. Okay, this next in for 2024, I'm a little bit hesitant to include solely because like it's very specific to me and i don't want anybody to misconstrue this information that i'm sharing you know so huge giant firework size asterisk of if you struggle with disordered eating if you have an eating disorder if you don't like hearing about food or like thinking about it whatever the case may be if that's something that you're not into or don't want to hear about just skip this part for me personally i have recently been really getting into like learning more about different foods the different ways that they benefit your body what their purposes are how they can be combined with other foods to be like even more nutritious kind of i don't know i've just been super into that recently since i became vegetarian even more specifically and recently as i started looking into the environmental implications of my own diet i just learned a lot more about food and just like kind of have a new appreciation for it i guess and so like it's been a very healthy thing for me. I recently learned more about complete and incomplete proteins. Any animal protein, so like meat, fish, dairy, eggs, is going to be complete protein. And then there's some complete vegetarian proteins like soy, quinoa, I know there's a few others that I can't remember. And then a lot of things like peanut butter, like beans, those are incomplete proteins, but combined with another incomplete protein, they become a complete protein. Very interesting stuff. And I've enjoyed learning more about it. And I feel like getting to know the food that you're eating in a healthy manner, of course, is in this year. Something that is out in 2024 is giving a shit about what people think about you. I have recently realized that I am way more insecure than I used to think. And I just like, am, there are a lot of situations where I'm worried about what those around me are thinking of me. In like weird circumstances though, for example, if I'm in class or walking around campus or like at the gym on campus, I don't really care what those people are thinking about me. Like that's just something that concerns me which is weird because like potentially those are the people that are actually going to know me but when i think about like moving in and how embarrassing it is to like be taking a million loads of all my shit up to my apartment like that makes me so nervous and like embarrassed i guess i don't know it's super weird but like i'm just so sick of that i feel like a lot of people deal with that in different like capacities and in different situations like things that 
make them more conscious of like people around them I, i'm i'm sick of that and i don't want that to be something that is gonna like take over my life or prevent me from doing things that i want to do that being said <laughs> my friend is trying to get me to go to a karaoke bar this weekend and i just don't know if i can do it but then with situations like that i'm like i can't tell if i'm like embarrassed what other people are th- will think but even like i don't think i would want to stand in my apartment by myself and sing like a full song you know what i mean but i don't know maybe that's not true maybe i'm just telling myself that do you know what's in in 2024 having one million friends and i kind of mean that seriously and i kind of don't i'm the new kid right now and it's a bit tricky and it's kind of the worst i'm gonna be honest but I have really been trying to make an effort to reach out to people in my life and make plans with them and even people that I don't know that well reaching out to them because the worst that happens is they say no I hate you and then you move on and like honestly if they do say that then they're like a shitty person anyway I've always been someone that just has like one or two close people in my life that I adore and want to spend every waking minute with I'm, I'm not good at balancing a bunch of different like less close friendships but also when you don't know anybody like that's how you form those deeper friendships is by like getting coffee whatever so i had a little friend date last night and i have a friend date tomorrow and i'm excited about it so just reaching out to people i think a lot more people than we realize are like lonely and just kind of like not unhappy but could use more human interaction and so like being the person to initiate those like lunches or coffee dates or whatever like i think that's a really cool and like attractive quality in someone you know like taking initiative and also like just like wanting to connect with other people even if i never see them again or get lunch with them again like it's cool to take time out of your day to like get to know someone new i don't know this is so against every part of my being because i really just love my people and i don't stray outside of that but there's so many wonderful people out there that don't need to be best friends but like there's something you can learn from them and they can make you laugh and like i think that's that's precious so one million friends that's my goal being annoying about music is so wildly out this year i like haven't run into a lot of like music snobs recently oh my gosh my head is so itchy what is going on but like that is just the worst honestly this applies to music books and like tv shows any like media that's like not social media that you're consuming anyone who's like annoying about it or like judgmental about it absolutely not get the fuck out i hate that i think it's really cool that people have such unique tastes and even if it's not my taste i still like appreciate that people are into country that's great not really my thing people are into jazz very cool i don't know anything about jazz but whatever people are into anime awesome I guess being judgmental is out, but like that's always been out, but like being judgmental about things that like make people happy. Shut up. Just because you're insecure that you whatever, shut up. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember if we're on an in or an out. So now I just have to think of one. All of these have just been coming up as I've been pressing record. Um oh, this is an in that's kind of related to another video that I'm filming, but that'll be I think a little bit down the road, potentially. Um, an in doing things that you are just horrible at, doing things that make you uncomfortable. And let me tell you, the process sucks. It really does. Running is a great example. I'm doing it. I'm not great at it. I'm actually bad at it. I would say like you could pick an eight-year-old off the, off the schoolyard and they could race me for a mile. They would win by probably three minutes. It's not my thing and that's okay. But I think that like even more important than the physical aspect, like the mental aspect of getting my ass up and getting out the door and running is more important and like more beneficial for me because I'm training my brain to be strong. So this next out is extremely personal to me. It happened yesterday. I was playing Uno with one of my friends and we, we started playing and we never discussed the rules and everyone plays uno differently i got uno for christmas i was super excited about it fresh out of the box and so first of all she deals like one two three four five six seven one two three five six seven so then i had to redeal because all of mine were red and yellow she plays where if you have a red one a yellow one and then like random other cards if a green one is on the table you can play both of them or like if a green one is on the table you have a green one you can play that and then you can play a red one 
which I think is just bonkers because I have played where either you can only play one card regardless or if you play a second card, it has to be the exact same. So like if it's a green one and you have two green ones, you can play both of those, but you can't just put down your whole hand. Like that's crazy, but that really, that pissed me off. So no more in 2024. Okay, I just thought of this last one. This is my final out of 2024, eating bad baked goods absolutely not i found myself at different points throughout last year i guess like going to cafes or bakeries and getting baked goods that just like weren't that great like if i'm gonna have a muffin i want it to be world's best muffin and if i can't find that i'm going to make it i just made world's best blueberry scones like to the point where rather than like a birthday cake i would love a bunch of tiny little crispy mini blueberry scones especially when prices are so expensive for literally anything like paying six dollars for a mediocre almond croissant i just refuse you know i love outings where i get a little treat or something or i'm like out for the day and i pick up some sort of sweet item but i'm so sick of having things that are just like okay or like subpar even and i feel like a lot of baked goods are either they've been sitting out for a while or they're just like not great i'm not sure what the remedy is though partially it's like the act of getting something that's so fun so recently i've been turning to ice cream and i've been eating a lot of ice cream cones when i'm out i just had one the other day it was a scoop of dark chocolate then a scoop of white chocolate peppermint oh it was so delicious and a sugar cone wonderful kind of a sad out if we're being honest but i just wanted to alert you guys of what i'm not doing this year so Yep. And the last thing that's in in 2024 is making scones for your friends. Mmm, yum, yum, yum.